It's a life that seems so removed from the rest of Northern Virginia. Come on! On his family's Silver Ridge farm, just north of Fredericksburg, every morning, Mike Silver feeds the cattle both by hand and on tractor. Mike's the fifth generation of Silvers to farm or raise cattle here, taking after his dad. Jerry. Nothing I more enjoy than talking about the farm, showing people what we do. But both father and son, now watching the landscape around them, quickly change. That's 18 acres there that we'd farm for a long, long time. That's, uh, we've lost it this year, sold for houses. Farm on the backside of us, 300 acres, all in houses. The Silver family has been farming this land for nearly 200 years. Jerry Silver tells me they reached their peak in the mid 80s. Since then, they've lost about a third of the land. Easy, come on. You know, we're growing houses in Stafford County, not cattle. The cattle business here, feeling the pinch. Come on, girls. Look no farther than the Fredericksburg Livestock Exchange. It used to be full. I mean, this, you know, the stands here where people used to watch this. The sale, it would be full. And now you have a handful of people coming. There's just no farms in the area. It's really sad. At one of the exchange's last auctions, Gene and Edgar Bennett brought a bull from their Spotsylvania County farm. The final bids aren't what they used to be. With decreasing land to farm, so went the local demand. The purpose was to have a place for local producers to sell their cattle. There's just not as many local producers anymore. But the stockyard wasn't just a place of business for all those years. It was also a social gathering. You know them all, and you get used to seeing them, you know, how they're doing, and their families and stuff. It's kind of just like a weekly gathering, you know. For the generations of farmers and those who raise cattle who have come to the stockyard and participated in the exchange, the closing, well, sure, it's sad, but it's what it signals, really the end of an era that makes it tougher to swallow. And when I saw it in the paper, I almost started crying because it was that emotional. It's just some place that we've been coming so, so long. And Families like the Bennetts say the children of many farmers they know are choosing different careers. Yeah, right. There's a lot of them, they, they're just not interested. By the, you know, younger generation, they're, this is, it's, it's a hard life. I mean, you don't make that much money and, uh, it's just hard. This one is a monster truck tractor. But if a three-year-old's playful spirit is any indication, the Silver family may have hope in passing this place on to a sixth generation. Do you know what this is? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. That's barley. Barley. And see, look, it's called bearded barley. Cause... Though little Davis will have to do without the local exchange. You just keep working and hope to give your kids the opportunity to be raised on a farm, to be raised around all this stuff. And to, to potentially, and to think that one day they might want to do it themselves. So. In Fredericksburg, Virginia, David Culver, News 4.